Hello again. So I am back with a piece of fan art. This is a collaboration that I did with Movie Finobi. And this is based on a person who plays a character. So this is not based on an actual human person. So first, let me just explain. Uh, the original concept is this drawing. This was done by Movie Finobi. And this is for a woman named, that goes by Video Drew. And she does this character uh, that's kind of this crazy person just out of an asylum. And she does this on uh, Movie Trivia Schmodown. So I highly recommend that you go check that out too. She's not on super often, but she is very funny. So the first time I saw her, she was wearing this black dress with this white collar and she was smearing lipstick on as she was talking and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and it really made me laugh. But as I've gotten to know Drew more than just her character, I've gotten to know her as a person and there, one thing that's missing from this sculpture is her charm and her sweetness. But um, there's little bits of her personality in here as well. Uh, for one thing, she is a very big fan of teeth. It's kind of a, I don't want to say an obsession, but definitely a hobby. She collects teeth. Her logo is a big mouth with a, a smile and she talks a lot about teeth. And so I wanted to incorporate that. But mostly this is just about the character video drew. So obviously the drawing was of a doll and we got the buttons for eyes. I wish I could have done the zipper mouth. I just couldn't figure out how to do that. The, the drawing is a, an illusion of three dimensions and the sculpture is actually three dimensions. So I wasn't able to accomplish everything I wanted to because I really, I gotta show you this drawing again. I really like this drawing a lot. And this was a giant inspiration for me. And I really wanted to capture at least the spirit and see that little heart inside the box. That was also his idea. So we did this. And as I was working on this, you know, I would send him pictures we were talking a lot on the phone. He wasn't able to be physically in the same room helping me work on it. But we we discussed a lot of things as this process went on. Let me also show you the very coolest. This is going to be super awkward as I turn this on. But the coolest part about this whole thing. Ugh, sorry. There we go. Is that. I love that so much and that was always planned from the beginning that this was going to have lights and this was going to light up in fact i purposely made this video well it's a little bit darker outside so that you could really see how that lights up i think that's very cool and also one of the things that i think is very interesting about this is because it has lights in it, this sculpture has a life cycle. So if you wanted to, there's a battery pack underneath and, you know, the batteries can be changed. But if you wanted to, you could just leave this lit all the time and let it die. You could save the batteries and preserve the life for as long as you wanted to. You could change the batteries and give it a new life. But I think that's a very interesting life cycle for a piece of art to have. And I think this turned out pretty well. I have showed Drew the images and I did show her a little video and she did like it. So even though this is a little creepier than I wanted it to be, <laughs> I, I was trying for a little sweetness, but that is, uh, sweet doesn't happen with me. I'm sorry. Everything gets a little distorted and creepy, but 
she was pretty excited and I do plan on sending this out to her this week. She knows about it now, so cat's out of the bag. But this was fun to work on and also it was a fun collaboration with Fenobi. And I definitely plan on, he's got great ideas and I definitely plan on working with him a lot more. And I, he draws way better than I do too. I, I am not talented at drawing at all. So if he can draw, I can do the sculpt. But I am very happy with the way that lights up. And I got to tell you one thing. See, the, the glaze on the face. Okay, I did a lighter flesh tone and then a darker flesh tone. At one point, I had done a dark brown glaze to try and give it more depth, and it scared the shit out of me. It was so creepy. And then, of course, Fenobi laughed and laughed, and he's like, you scared yourself. I'm like, uh-huh, I did. I have heard that Stephen King goes through the same thing. If he writes a story that he scares the shit out of himself, then he knows it's good. So there. <laughs> of course, I did change this because... I did not want this to be creepy, scary. I wanted it to be a little, a little creepy, but not like, you know, this thing is going to come to life at night and kill you creepy. That was not my intention. So I am now happy with this. And this is going to go to her rightful owner, Drew, sometime this week.